Good afternoon. Flooding is causing more problems across parts of the UK after the most intense September storm for decades. 55 flood warnings remain in place, mainly in the north of England. The heavy rain has triggered a landslide in a village near Newcastle, blocking the high street in Yorkshire. Communities are bracing for flooding as the River Ouse continues to rise. Well, let's get an update on those problems that are being caused by the flooding. Our correspondent James Cook is in Newburn on the outskirts of Newcastle, where that landslide has ripped through the village following those downpours. James. Yes, just quite extraordinary scenes here in Newburn. I'm standing on what is the high street, would usually be a bustling, normal high street. And just look at it, there's, there's this enormous digger in the middle, which is uh, trying to scoop up the earth and trying to uh, just to clear a path to just to try to get this street open today, although engineers say it could take two or three days to do so. And what you can hardly even see because it's hiding behind the digger in a huge pile of earth. There's a car in there. I was speaking to the, to the chap who was driving that car when this happened and uh, he said that he, he was more uh, worried that he was uh, going to be looked at as being a bit foolish rather than anything else. He said he wasn't, didn't have time to be scared but he did say it happened very, very quickly. Somebody was shouting at him to get out of the car and he managed to get out but it really has devastated the, the street here in the middle of Newburn. Uh, amazingly, as I say, no one's been injured, but just a bit further up from here, just a bit higher up on the higher ground, which is where this rubble has all come down from, hundreds and hundreds of tons of, of rubble and dirt, there's a block of flats there, essentially teetering on the edge. They're in huge trouble. The people have had to be evacuated from them because it looks like they're in very serious danger of collapse. So there's now an investigation as to what happened. Locals are very, very unhappy that work wasn't done on a culvert up near those flats earlier. They say they knew there was a problem. That's the most frustrating thing about this, and that's why some people here are really very angry about what's happened. Well, that's the situation in Newburn. Danny Savage is live for us now in York. Yes, well, here in York, this sign is a bit of an understatement. To my left here, you can see a bridge. It's the River Ouse going underneath that bridge, but you can see it's very much burst its banks. The main part of the river, literally just the other side of the building here. But although we've just had a, a light shower, it has largely stopped raining. But that hasn't alleviated the situation because the floodwaters are still rising in many places. And as you can see here in York, there are still problems to come. In North Yorkshire this afternoon, rivers are still rising. Two of the most swollen, the Ewer and the Swale, converge to become the Ooze here in York. Already the water in the city centre is high, and it's a long way from its peak. I've never seen this worse, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, if the flood is still coming down, I would think this would be the biggest one York's seen in many, many years. No one seems to do anything about it. It just goes on year after year. A few miles away in Tadcaster, the main bridge in the town centre has been closed after taking a battering from the river wharf. It's left both sides of the town isolated from each other. Further north, in Newburn in Newcastle, a landslip has ripped through the middle of the village, leaving tons of rubble and mud blocking the high street. Although nobody was hurt, a car was completely buried, with what was an underground stream running across the middle of the main road. While some wait for the situation to get worse, others are clearing up. Here in Hartburn on Teesside, dozens of houses were flooded yesterday. Today is about trying to sort out the mess. What I'm doing today is I'm going to be ringing the insurance people very shortly and seeing what the situation is, you know, what I can, what I can and can't do, because until I get that carpet up and that, I can't do anything, really. It's just going to be, and it's going to stink, heaven's eye. The deluge of the last two days has once again raised questions about flood defences. In Morpeth, which was badly affected yesterday, there have been complaints that not enough has been done to protect the town since the last floods in 2008. Ministers say they are doing all they can. Well, we're building a lot of flood schemes. We're spending £2.17 billion pounds of taxpayers' money on flood schemes right around the country. Morpeth has been an absolute priority. They've got a very hard-working local authority and an MP. Travel chaos has continued today too. The A1 has been closed all morning after being left looking more like a canal than a road. The result has been huge tailbacks on the diversionary routes. Routine journeys are taking hours longer than normal and motoring organisations have been kept very busy. 
but not everyone is seeing the high water as a miserable prospect. In Castleford in West Yorkshire, they were having a go at kneeboarding, although it would have been a short-lived pleasure as the water level here is dropping. Now, the latest from the Environment Agency here in York is that the waters are expected to peak at about midnight tonight or the early hours of tomorrow morning. So this water level here is only set to get higher over the next 12 hours or so. Now, the flats you can see down the right-hand side of the picture here are actually effectively built on stilts. It's underground car parks here. They're designed to compensate for when the river floods. But it is an issue for some properties here in York. This is the worst it's been here for many years. And there are quite a few worried people living in the riverside areas about what's going to happen over the next 12 hours or so. So water level still rising here in North Yorkshire. James Cook is still up on Tyneside.